All right, so I think... I love Koofy. I want to... Koofy. Let this game speak for itself. I want to explain it to you. I think you'll pick up on it pretty fast. Okay. On start, game three, two, one. Hey, everyone. Everyone's naked. To two girls, one let's play of two interviewees. Yes. Martin, stay calm, deep breaths, be confident. Irene, stay Stay calm, deep breaths, be confident. Or I'd better not? We're going to have the same answers and the same exact words for each character, but they're both different genders. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? I better not. So it's going to be the same answer for both of them. Yeah. Hello. Right on time. Being on time for an interview is a quality I appreciate. I've read your CV carefully. Let's start the interview. So good looks. Yeah. Pretty but sloppy. Uh, and because you chose not to wear jewelry. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's, Let's start the interview. Yes. How would you describe yourself? Uh, as a competent, ambitious professional. Resolute. Arrogant. Mmm. I see where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Fine. Did you check on our website about our core businesses? Of course. B2B and B2C consultancy. We do that as well, but it's not the whole story. Our mission is total customer satisfaction through in just-in-time delivery of fulfill stack supported based on state-of-the-art technology. I see. Have you got the necessary skills for the job you applied for? Absolutely. Skilled. Skilled. How do you see yourself in 20 years? Uh, With a well-established career and a family. (laughs) Of course. Work ethic. Pregnancy alert. Hmm. Mm -hmm. May I ask what your marital status is? By the way, I work at a company that deals with recruiting, so this is all, like, very... Relevant? Relevant. Yeah. Because we talk about companies that do this stuff all the time, how companies will... You have a company that's all female, so I think you guys try to avoid that, or...? Oh, yeah. Our company particularly doesn't do these things, but we are aware of companies that do these things. Like, there are companies... It's a real thing that happens. It's a real thing that happens, like, especially the pregnancy thing. So companies can actually take your anonymized health data from your healthcare company, and they can figure out how many employees their company are ready to be pregnant, meaning they've changed their medication regimen or other things like that. But your company doesn't do that. You, your company no, is aware have... that other companies do it. Yes. But we work at a company that's all women, so, like, they don't fucking care. Or at least they're aware of, like, ooh, let's not say these things. Or, <laughs> you know? Uh, no. Or I... they're aware of the, the, the I... industry-wide issue. The industry-wide issue. But I'd say, like, our company is, like, really flexible. Like, we had three or four women out on pregnancy leave in the past year. And the pregnancy leave, it wasn't too long to the point where it was being detrimental they all came back right yeah it's three months yeah yes so what do you want me to which, say? which by the way the u.s is one is like one of the only companies that does not do guaranteed pregnancy leave mm-hmm. so they're both gonna say the same thing so what do you want to say oh uh, let's see what i don't remember what the question was what do you what are you single Oh, I'm planning to move in with my partner, then we'll see. Plans to marry? Unwed so far, plans to marry. Yeah. So, oh, would you, oh, I think we can stop here. Thanks, anyway. Game over. So, uh, in reality, most companies would prefer to have a single person. Ah. One in five UK mothers felt harassed or criticized at work because of her pregnancy. One in nine was forced to leave the job for being pregnant. Yeah. So let's start again with different options. Mm-hmm. Stay calm, deep breaths, be confident. 
I'll wear my jewelry. Yes. Let's get ready to go. Hello. Right on time. On time. Read your CV carefully. Weird looking. Uh, parentheses. Gay. gay. Elegant and pretty. pretty. So now we're pointing out that in, in like, you know, guys can't wear jewelry, but women can. Like, that's not fair. Mm-mm. Let's start the interview. Yes. How would you describe yourself? What do you want to say? Let's say, let's go with different options. So, discreet and diligent person. Anxious. But then say anything for this guy. Did you check on our website what our core business is? By the way, that's something that you should absolutely do before any job interview. Of Of course. course. Business intelligence and maintenance functions. Not exactly. Our mission, blah, blah, blah. I see. Have you got the necessary skills for the job you applied for? I think so. I think so. so. Skilled? Skilled? Where do you see yourself in 20 years? Focused Focused on on my goals. Hmm. May I ask what your marital status is? Isn't this question a bit off topic? (laughs) Reserved? Bullshy? What does that mean? Bullshy? BL. Bullshy? I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) I, it's standard procedure, but we can skip it if you mind. If this is a UK game, that might be a word that we just... It's Italian, and they translated it into English. Oh, okay. What's the salary you expect to earn? What I was trying to say, though, is that most, like, European countries, they'll use, like, s- slang UK words in uh, their English yeah. as opposed to American slang. Uh, so if you know what she means, let us know. Yeah. So gross annual income, yes. Say 30,000. Yeah. 30K asks for too much. Yeah, of course. Oh. Sent away. Is there a way to, like, win? Okay, so you want to play The employment rate in the EU is 11% higher for men compared to women. The employment rate. The 2013 data. Uh, So, men... It's like, I feel like that's like a well-accepted statistic that, not well-accepted, but well-known statistic that men tend to make more per dollar, even when you adjust it for amount of hours worked and all of these other things, like mm-hmm. level of job, all that stuff. Even yeah. In, yeah. No, I'm agreeing with you. I wasn't trying to cut you off. Even like in technology where it's like a supposed meritocracy, meaning that there is no necessary benefit to being a man or a woman. Mm-hmm. Like, some jobs, like maybe hard labor, you could argue it's a benefit to be a man because they tend to be stronger Mm -hmm. than women. Mm -hmm. But in, like, highly skilled professions where it's really all just about how much... I think a lot of people just don't realize that they have a sexist view. But, like, it's not like they actively think, oh, I hate women or anything. It's just, like, it's just, like, a, a thing that... You just, just there's these basic assumptions that you make, like stereotypes and stuff. Like people are like, "Oh, well, stereotypes are based in the truth." And, but the problem is that stereotypes don't apply to every single person, and that's what the problem is. Because when you're hiring someone, you should hire them based on what they tell you and what their skill set is, not what you assume. Mm-hmm. So that's what I think the game is trying to point out. It is also pointing out that traits that are sometimes admired in one gender are a little like people regard with suspicious from another suspicion from another for another gender so say if a man seems like oh i'm single i'm ambitious i'm hardworking. like sometimes you'll people will look at a woman and say like well where's her why is she why why is she single like why isn't she trying to have a family and stuff like that yeah whereas if um like i like that the choice to wear jewelry it was, like, not fair to the guy. Like, why can't a guy wear jewelry to an interview? Mm-hmm. You know? That wasn't cool. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, one gender might be punished over the other for appearing more family-oriented. Mm-hmm. Like, it's expected for women to be family-oriented. So when men are... It's just, like... Yeah, but, like, when you hear coming from, a, like, a, someone who's hiring. If a guy says, yeah, I want to have kids, they're going to be like, ah, oh, your wife is going to take care of the kids. Great. Yeah. But when a woman yeah. says, I want to have kids, oh, you're going to be taking care of the kids. Great. Mm-hmm. So that's the, what the differences are. Like, those assumptions, like, you can't, you know? 
Well, and you know what is another interesting thing? So one of the reasons that some people have pointed to as to why women make less money is because women are less likely to negotiate their starting salary. Yeah. And, but the problem with saying that is that women that do negotiate are actually regarded worse when they negotiate. Because they're being, because quote they're being unquote, bitchy. Or ambitious or bitchy and things like that. So if you punish that characteristic, but it's like, okay, well, that's what's necessary to get ahead. But if you punish it, then women aren't going to do it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, there's no winning. Well, um, so I'm glad that they put statistics at the end of each playthrough so that people can be like, you're making it up. And they're like, no, I'm not. So bye. Yeah. bye. Well, uh, I hope you guys, uh, thought this was interesting. And, uh, you can buy you can download the game at the link below and you can donate whatever money you want and the person who's making it say is saying that they're using all the money to promote the game so and they've made like twenty three dollars so yeah. it's not like they're rolling in it <laughs> so all right bye. <laughs>